Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church in Hazlitt, Texas. Today is Tuesday, December the 5th. It's time for our daily devotion. We are continuing with our Old Testament readings, and we're in the book of Isaiah today. We're doing two chapters, chapter 11 and chapter 12. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of power, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear. Their young will lie down together. And the lion will eat straw like the ox. The infant will play near the hole of the cobra, and the young child will put his hand to the viper's nest. They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. In that day, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples. The nations will rally to him, and his place of rest will be glorious. In that day, the Lord will reach out his hand a second time to reclaim the remnant that is left of his people from Assyria, from the lower Egypt, from upper Egypt, from Cush, from Elam, from Babylonia, from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. <coughs> he will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarters of the earth. Ephraim's jealousy will vanish, and Judah's enemies will be cut off. Ephraim will not be jealous of Judah, nor Judah hostile towards Ephraim. They will swoop down on the slopes of Philistia to the west. Together they will plunder the people to the east. They will lay hands on Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites will be subject to them. The Lord will dry up the gulf of the Egyptian sea. With a scorching wind, he will sweep his hand over the Euphrates River. He will break it up into seven streams so that men can cross over in sandals. There will be a highway for the remnant of his people that is left from Assyria, as there was for Israel when they came up out of Egypt. In that day you will say, I will praise you, O Lord, although you were angry with me. Your anger is turned away, and you have comforted me. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. With joy you, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. In that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known among the nations what he has done, and proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to all the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. All right. So, uh, this is a very famous chapter in Isaiah, and it's actually going to be uh, related to what I'm preaching on uh, tomorrow night for our midweek Advent service, because Jeremiah also has something uh, similar in chapter 23, verses 5 through 6 of, of his prophetic book. But we're talking about a shoot that comes up from the stump of Jesse. Uh, now, for those of us here in Texas, the easiest way to think about this is to think about a crepe myrtle, right? So every spring, you go outside and you look at your crepe myrtle and you have all these shoots coming up out of the ground. I mean, even if you cut down the crepe myrtle tree itself, um, it, you know, if you've got the stump of it left, you're still going to get these shoots coming up out of the ground, and, and they eventually will all form a new tree. And, and so that's very much what we're, we see happening here um, in, in this prophetic message from Isaiah. You know, in, in Israel, they have olive trees, and, and if you go there, you can get little souvenirs that are all made from olive wood because the stuff grows like crazy, and and it is um, and it is this type of a tree. It's like a crepe myrtle, where if you cut it down at the stump, um, a shoot comes forth, 
and it grows a new tree. So we're talking here about the resurrection of God's people. We're talking about how God will bring all the people from all the nations to form one people, that, that he'll bring his people from uh, being exiled uh, by Assyrians and Babylonians and, and as far away as the land of Cush and Hamath and, and all of these places that Isaiah mentions, because this is what the Great Commission is, that the apostles are sent out to all nations to make disciples, to spread the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, so that God will form for himself a new Israel. You know, the, the stump is about a resurrection of the Davidic line. And, and this is what happens with, um, with Jesus, that, that he is um, a resurrection of the Davidic line so that there is a descendant on the throne of Israel, in this case, the new Israel, uh, forever. So that God is still keeping his Old Testament promise to David um, about a descendant of David being on the throne of, um, uh, of Israel forever. And so, you know, all of uh, our Old Testament promises find their fulfillment in Jesus. And, and that's what we see happening here, that, that God is going to give us a greater promised land. He's going to give us, um, you know, a new heaven, a new earth, um, uh, an inheritance, a spiritual inheritance that cannot be taken away by uh, an empire like Assyria or Babylon or Egypt or Rome or all the nations maligned against us um, at the end of time in Armageddon, but that God defeats them all. He defeats his enemies, and he gives us a lasting spiritual inheritance um, in him for eternity by the blood of his Son, who um, conquers death and, um, and arises from death to give all who believe in him eternal life. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay, um, announcements for today. All right, so it is Tuesday. We do have Seasoned Saints coming up here in about an hour and a half. It's going to be at 1 p.m. And then um, tomorrow we have our midweek Advent service. That's happening at 7. Come an hour early for the meal at 6. Uh, it looks like we're going to be canceling youth group tomorrow night because Claire is uh, under the weather. So um, please watch for us to resume youth group again um, next week. Then let's see, Thursday we have Mahjong happening at 10 a.m. in the North Campus building. This Saturday, as we've been saying, is a work day, 8 a.m. Bring your rake. Um, we need to clear the grounds and make it ready for Christmas. And uh, then also this Saturday is a grief share happening at uh, 1030 a.m. about surviving the holidays. Um, this coming Sunday, confirmation will last for another hour and a half um, because we are, this will be actually um, our last confirmation class for the year this coming, um, this coming Sunday. Uh, we're going to be having an extended break uh, for confirmation because we're increasing the class time uh, this past uh, Sunday and then this coming Sunday. So, um, please bring your safe haven gifts in by this Sunday. Um, if you need to bring them up Monday, that's okay. But uh, we're going to be bringing them to, uh, to safe haven. They need to be unwrapped. We included a gift list in the email newsletter, so you can check that out for more information. And I did post uh, my recent Bible study, Lutheranism During the Third Reich. We had the introduction this past Sunday. So you can see that on our YouTube channel, and, uh, and you can watch that. Then this coming Sunday, we're going to be having a setting the stage. So this will be covering like 100 years before the Third Reich, what was happening, what was being said in um, academia, in science, and in some other aspects of society that are setting the stage for, uh, for Nazism 
and uh, we'll, we'll talk more about um, those types of things. We'll talk a little bit about evolution and our understanding of that as Christians. And so uh, it's going to be another great Bible class on Sunday morning, this coming Sunday, 9.30 a.m., uh, 9.15 if you want to be on time. And uh, we'll also have a Zoom link available. So you can join us live via Zoom, or you can watch the recording that will get posted um, to our Facebook channel the next day. And I'm also going to include that in the email newsletter tomorrow, a link for that. So, all right, lots happening at Holy Shepherd. And then don't forget Christmas Eve service at 5 p.m. on December the 24th. And yes, we are having Sunday morning service also, um, 10.30 a.m. the 24th, excuse me, at its um, at its usual time. All right, all the announcements I have for today. God bless you. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for more daily devotions.